Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center and today we're talking about the Burnett B33. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wind the bobbin and how to thread the machine. To start off with, when you go to unthread your machine, make sure you cut the thread up here by the spool and pull the excess out by the needle. That's important because if you pull your thread backwards out of your machine, it can cause lint to build up here in the tension disc and we don't want that. So just snip and pull it out this way. Okay, for winding the bobbin, you want to use the bobbins that come with your machine, which are plastic class 15 bobbins. Use only this kind of bobbin, not metal bobbins and not ones that are taller, rounder, one-sided or something like that. Um, plastic class 15 bobbins. Okay, and then we, this is our spool pin. So if, if it's down like this, just pull it up. There you go. Put your spool on there. And to wind the bobbin, we go around this little tension uh, guide here. It's going to give a little tension on the thread when you wind your bobbin so that it winds nice and smoothly. Now take the end of your thread, I'll show you down here, take the end of your thread and poke it through the side of the bobbin from inside to outside, just like that, so that that thread tail goes through the bobbin from inside to outside. And then you put this on here so that the thread tail comes upwards. Then we're going to move the spindle over to the right and we're going to pull out the knob to the right. It looks like it was already pulled out. When you pull this out, what that does is it keeps the needle from going up and down. So it's just, the machine's just set up for bobbin winding. So at this point, I'm going to hang on to that little thread tail, push on the, okay, we gotta, here we go. Okay, I think I did something right. There we go. Uh, had something done in the wrong order. What I'm doing now is I'm pushing on the foot control and I'm making the, the bobbin spin, but I'm hanging onto the thread. That's important because we want to make sure that that beginning thread tail is well anchored by the succeeding wraps of thread. Take several layers there. And at this point, it's wrapped enough that I can go ahead and cut my thread and keep winding the bottom. Now, if I was gonna wind a full bobbin of thread, the thread wraps would push against this little stopper here. And what that would do is push the spindle back away from where it's spinning inside. And that keeps it from overwinding. So that's what this little stopper is for. Once we're done, now I'm gonna just wind that much thread because that's all I need for this uh, particular um, application. So I'm gonna pull this back, push this back in. Now the pictures, of part of what I showed you are right here at the top of the cabinet. That's really helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my thread. Pull that off of there. Now to put the bobbin in the machine, first of all you need to take off your accessory tray, open this door here, and here is the bobbin case. To open the bobbin case we're going to hang on to this little lever here, pull that out. That's the bobbin case. Now hold the bobbin case in your left hand so that you can see this little slit right here. Notice how that slit points back away from you. You also want to have your thread on your bobbin pointing from the top away from you. You don't want to have it towards you or um, coming from underneath. It needs to be over the top pointing away from you. That's important because it'll, it'll put it in the correct way. Then we put this in here, hold your bobbin like this and slide that thread right down into that little groove and pass that little hook right there. That puts a little bit of tension on your thread. So you have tension on your top thread. You also have tension on your bobbin thread. So putting that in the correct way will make sure that you have that tension correct. Okay, now we're gonna open this little latch here and what that does is it keeps the bobbin from falling out when you open that latch. When you have it closed, you can remove your bobbin. So we open this, put the thread tail kind of out of the way. Notice I don't have a really long thread tail, maybe three or four inches is about right. Then we're going to put this right on that little spindle right there. There is a notch in the um, bobbin case here where that little knob will go and it should fit right in there and you notice that's nice and flat on there. If it's not there or if it spins and rocks, that means you don't have it all the way in, in that, which case just open that latch and move it until it's all the way in. Okay, that is the bobbin part. I'll show you later on how to get the bobbin thread up through the needle plate. But for to start, 
we're going to do the top thread. Now, the top thread does not use this. This is only for bobbin winding. One way to tell that is you look at the picture here, it has a dotted line. This also has a dotted line. So this is only for bobbin winding. What we're going to do is thread the, the needle thread, which we start out by going under this hook here. We go down here like this, come around, make sure you can see your take up lever. If it's down inside the machine, roll your hand wheel until you can see that right there. And comes right just the way the arrow shows you, right around like that. Then we go down here. Now there is a hook underneath here. It opens on the right. Just make sure you have it there. If you need to, you can put a little mirror under there or just, you know, get down and look at it. But that's important. All the thread guides are important for uh, threading your machine, so don't skip any. Then there's one last little hook. This little guide is called the needle bar guide, and that keeps the thread right next to the needle. Now, we are going to use the needle threader. In order to do that, you need to make sure your take-up lever is up so that you can see it. That'll make sure that the needle is up at the right position. Okay, so what I did is I pulled the needle threader down, swivel it forward so it hugs the back of the needle. I put my finger here to keep it from flying back up and also to keep it so it's hugging the back of the needle. I'm just holding it nice and lightly. Use my thumb to guide the thread to the left of the hook on the left side. Then I guide the thread to the right. Now you can see it's going straight across. The thread is in front of the needle. There's a little bitty hook that's going through the eye of the needle there and that is above that thread. It's going to hook that thread pull it through the eye of the needle, and we have a little bitty loop of thread in the back. When I tried this earlier, I made a bigger loop, but I'm gonna just take a pin and grab that loop. Notice, I'm leaving this alone, because if I pull that, it's gonna pull that loop right back out. You don't wanna do that. You want to pull the loop, and there I have threaded the needle. So you can watch that again several times if you need to, to uh, see how I did that. But I found that the way that I've Figured it out is a nice, easy, efficient way. Just make sure that you can see your take-up lever because that'll make sure that the needle is in the correct height. Okay, and also when you stop sewing, you also want to make sure that your uh, take-up lever is up because that will have completed a stitch. Now we need to bring up that bobbin thread. So hold your top thread up like this and turn your hand wheel so it makes one complete stitch. That's where we see that take-up lever right there. And look there, we have the loop of thread. Now, I don't like getting my fingers close to that pointy end of the needle, so rather than grabbing that loop, you certainly can, you can take a pin and grab it, or you can do it my way, which is put your thread, your top thread, under the foot, right between the toes, take the tail end of that, swipe it straight back, and that picks up your bobbin thread. Now, with the threads under the foot, you're ready to sew. I hope you found this to be a helpful video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos here on our uh, Montevilla YouTube channel, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.